Gregory Corso was born on March 26, 1930, to teenage parents in Greenwich Village, New York City. When his mother returned to Italy after one year, Gregory was bounced between orphanages and foster homes. This is where Gregory's life of troubles began. During Corso's three-year sentence in prison, he read widely in the classics as well as the dictionary. This is also where he began writing poetry. After Corso was released from prison, he began to work as a laborer in New York, which is where he met Allen Ginsberg, a beat poet. Ginsberg introduced him to contemporary and traditional works, while encouraging Corso to keep writing and growing as a poet. Ginsberg then shared Corso's works with Mark Van Duren, who was one of his professors at Columbia University. By doing so, Corso's works were exposed to the eyes of a credible professor. In 1954, Corso moved to Boston, where he spent most of his time at the Harvard University Library, reading great works of poetry. His first published poems appeared in Harvard Advocate in 1954. A year later, Corso wrote a play called In This Hung Up Age and was performed by the students at the university. In an interview with Gavin Salieri, Corso discusses his use of rhythm and meter, stating, my music is built in. It's already natural. I don't play with the meter. Basically, it must arise naturally from the poet's voice, never chosen. I Am 25 by Gregory Corso. With a love, a madness for Shelley Shatterton, Rimbaud and the needy yap of my mouth has gone from ear to ear. I hate old poet men, especially old poet men who retract, who consult other old poet men, who speak their youth in whispers, saying, I did those then, but that was then, that was then. Oh, I would quiet old men, say to them, I'm your friend. What you once were, through to me, you'll be again. Then at night, in the confidence of their homes, rip out their apology tongues and steal their poems. When Corso moved to San Francisco in 1956, he was a year late to read at the legendary Six Poets at Six Gallery. This is where the beat movement started with the first public reading of Howl by Allen Ginsberg. Corso was later recognized as one of the major figures of the movement. One critic observed that he was a misfit, self-invented, rebellious, and blessed by the muse. The Beat Movement was a group of convention-breaking writers who were credited by, for sparking most of the social and political changes in the U.S. around the 1960s. The Beat Generation represents those who lost faith in structures and orders of the American society. Because of Corso's fame from his poetry in the late 50s and early 60s, he collaborated with Ginsburg and wrote The Literary Revolution of America, an article in which they declared, America now had poets who have taken it upon themselves with angelic clarons in hand to announce their discontent, their demands, their hopes, and their final wondrous, unimaginable dreams. In the world of literature and art, the beats stood in opposition to the clean, almost antiseptic formalism of the early 20th century modernists. In the recent years, Corso continued to write, teach, and lecture. He published 13 books of poetry, two books of plays, and several collaborations. Gregory Corso's death occurred in Robbinsdale, Minnesota, in his daughter's house due to prostate cancer in 2001, two months before his 71st birthday. But he remained the bad boy, and he never forgot his debt to poetry. He never tried to change his direction or tone, staying true to the ebullient kid who had learned to live on the street and how to write in prison.